In today's video, I'm going to show you how to aggregate chart values here in Google Sheets. So I have an example data set right here where I want to create a column chart using my product purchase column and my quantity column. But you'll notice under our product purchase column that we have some repeated words. That's because we have a more detailed data set. But not to worry, what we're going to do is to aggregate these values using our column chart. So let's select our values, go to Winsert, and select Chart. We have our suggested pie chart right here, but this is not the one that we need, so we're going to change it in our chart type. Just click on it, scroll down a little, and you'll see the column chart. Once you click on that, we now have the correct chart, but you'll see that each product has been plotted individually. Now to fix that and put all the same products together, what we're going to do is to aggregate them. And we're going to do that with the X axis under product purchase, click on aggregate. And there we have it. Now we're just going to label this with a total quantity purchase per product. We're going to go to customize, select series, and then go to the bottom and check on data labels. Once you check on that, you'll see the total number of quantities that were purchased for each product. Now we'll just customize the position of those labels right there, put them on the outside end, maybe put them in bold to make them more apparent. And there you have it. So now all we have to do is to reposition our table, remove some unnecessary labels because we already know the total quantity purchased and the products that were purchased. And now we can also just rename this. And there you have it. Now you'll see that a part of our label is going over our title. So we can actually adjust that by just double clicking on it and adjusting it a little lower. And there you have it. So that's how to aggregate chart values here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.